Here at Monash Design Health Collab, we design for health and wellbeing using a people and planet-centred design approach. Our aim is to understand and activate high-impact health services and products and to co-create holistic systems of care that improve the experience of health and care. We're at the forefront of design research within the complex ecosystem of health and work in collaboration with patients, lived experience advocates, clinicians, healthcare workers, medical researchers, engineers, healthcare managers and industry partners. What sets us apart from, from other people that are working in this space is the design lens that we bring to it, the way that we can take a lot of disparate things and bring them together into to one holistic kind of object uh, and also help to create a collaboration between industry and academia where we can help to, to make things that are at that interface between being something that's useful for research and something that's kind of going to go out into the world and have that real world impact. We worked really closely with SensiLab in the Faculty of IT to build a melanopic eye light sensor where we worked with a, a clinician who had a clinical need to collect a data point um, that they couldn't collect about people's exposure to light, but then integrate it into something that people would be really happy wearing as they went around about their day-to-day -day lives. And then that's continued for me in projects with Blundstone where we've just experimented and, and bought things, um, their knowledge, their, their hundreds of years of um, boot making knowledge together with some of the advanced fabrication things that we're doing. One of the challenges here was this electronic stuff that we needed to mount outside the shoe. And that's also where it's great to have the collaboration of a lot of different people from IT, engineering, etc., that can help us fine tune that. So in the Monash Design Health Collab, the work that I'm leading is around co-designing new models of care for the healthcare industry, and also really building the capability in our wearables and sensing technologies. So our main point of difference as a research lab that's working in the design of wearables and sensing technologies and medtech is that we bring the university with us. We're really building on human-centred design and pushing those principles, but we bring all of this capability in terms of research and cutting-edge technology development to the design of the devices and things that we're developing. So the Tactile Toolkit is a toolkit that we've been developing for about the last five years and it helps us to collaboratively map journeys of care for people who are in the healthcare system. So we bring groups of people together and we ask them to think about the lived experience of navigating care and think about what is it like from their perspective. It might be working at a system level, but the individual could be experiencing trauma. In our field, you can't do anything without collaborating. We have a lot of collaborators. We have multiple organizations. I am personally working very closely with a company called MicroX based in South Australia. They are world leaders in nano X-ray technology. We are working together with the United States government, Department of Homeland Security and the TSA to essentially rethink and redesign the entire security checkout process. We're now looking at a much more advanced, much more user-friendly kind of system. So we are looking at essentially fitting a CT scanner into a box this small and combining that together with radar panels. We're creating these, these self-checkout systems, which is something where you can come in and you do your own screening. You load your own bag, your x-ray gets done here, the radar is there to help you. Over time, we came to agree that we should get started with the stroke imager uh, because stroke is a major issue that we're facing in Australia and around the world. So using microexpress technology together with our design expertise, we started talking about, all right, what can we do so that technology like this can fit into your everyday ambulance, not the specialized uh, vehicle. Because the scanner is, can be made much smaller and it consumes a lot less energy, we now have the potential to put it in your standard road ambulance, in air ambulances, and sometimes in the future, possibly even in much lighter vehicles. It's an incredibly powerful, collaborative nucleus that we have here. And I, I can't think of another place where I, I would have the same kind of opportunity. I think our unique advantage here is that we are a very cutting edge design lab integrated into a holistic university that has incredibly powerful medical and engineering faculties. So it's really, you know, like taking design to the world, but in a very, very grounded way.
Doing this product development work in the university is really great as a way to engage the next generation of students in, in learning about the importance of design in the development of medical technologies and also just expose them to some, some real world challenges that people are facing in healthcare. Here at Monash, ultimately, we want to inspire the next generation of designers to consider a career in design for health because design has a huge role to play in positively impacting healthcare outcomes in the future.